There's a little restaurant in Western Massachusetts named Chef Wayne's Big Mamu. Oh, yeah! And while the address may be Liberty Street in Springfield, the atmosphere is most definitely Bourbon Street in New Orleans. Y'all married and you still look at each other like that? These are my girls right here. We go back like car seats. We go way back. This is roadside assistance. I'm Chef Wayne. Welcome to Chef Wayne's Big Mamu. For more than 20 years, Chef Wayne's Big Mamu has been serving some of the best Cajun Creole and Louisiana cuisine you can get outside of the Big Easy. Bowl flavors, full flavor, it's all fresh. You just gotta try it. While the food keeps customers coming in, it's Chef Wayne Hooker himself who keeps them coming back. I enjoy people. Thank you, sweetie. I like to have fun. How you guys doing? Anybody who knows me knows. If I say I'm throwing a party, you absolutely want to come to my party. And at the Mamu, it's always a party. It's lively, everybody's friendly, and that's just the way we do things. That's my philosophy. Laissez la bonton rouler. Let the good times roll. Chef Wayne's love of Louisiana runs deep. So when he decided to open his own restaurant back in the 1990s, there was no question he was going to serve a taste of the South. I just wanted to do something different. I wanted to give the area something they didn't have. We didn't need another pizza parlor, Chinese restaurant, Italian food, et cetera, et cetera. And it's fun. And what makes things at the Mamu even more fun is that this place is BYOB. There ain't no bar. You bring your own. People bring bottles. They share with people. A lot of people say it's like sitting in their own home and having a good time and sharing their experiences and drinks with people sitting next to them. Of course, the difference between your kitchen and Wayne's kitchen is that you have to pay for the food here. But the prices are shockingly affordable. And there's one ingredient that won't cost you anything at all. This is a fat free restaurant. We do not charge for the fat. I'll put butter in everything if I had a chance. Butter is good. Everybody agree with me? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> If fat is good, then the food here is great. Especially an entree so tasty, Wayne named it after himself, the Big Mamu Chef Wayne. My Mamu is crawfish tails, shrimp, broccoli, yellow squash, sauteed, and a lobster brandy cream sauce served with rice and puff pastry. It's rich, it's a fat trap. If you're on a diet, don't mess with it. In fact, if you're on a diet, just stay away from this place altogether because you're going to want to eat everything coming out of the kitchen. From the cheesy Cajun meatballs with penne and spicy tomato gravy, to the blackened ribeye with barbecue shrimp, to the classic New Orleans style gumbo. That's home cooking. That's what New Orleans is all about. Flavors, comfort food. It's like mom. It's supposed to make you feel good. And perhaps no New Orleans dish will make you feel better than jambalaya. Although Chef Wayne's recipe breaks from the traditional one pot preparation, so he can make sure nothing gets overcooked. Jambalaya traditionally is a highly seasoned rice dish and everything is cooked together. Here I do my spin on it, whereas I'm not one to cook all the seafood and sausage as long as I cook rice. So I make a jambalaya sauce and I have seasoned rice. This is gonna be a house jambalaya. We start out fresh in the pans with the shrimp and the sausage, the onions, peppers, and celery versus it all being cooked in rice. Even people from Louisiana, they say it's not our jambalaya, but we like this. This is a good idea. Appetizers at the Big Mamu aren't to be overlooked, like fried green tomatoes and crawfish tails, southern style spinach and chicken cakes with mushroom sauce, and the sensationally spicy jerked thunder thighs, whose fiery flavor often takes customers by surprise. They sit back. <laughs> they sit back. Damn! It's spicy. It's probably the spiciest thing on the menu. Not all the dishes here are spicy, but everything is always hot. Because the second it goes from pan to plate, it's on the way to your table. I don't do cold food. I don't believe in it. If it's plated, it goes out. When you get a plate in front of you, you have to sit back and blow on it because it's hot. I like to see the steam coming off it. And while Chef Wayne is certainly serious about serving great food, I love this. This is what I do. It's just as important to him to always let the good times roll. Lazay la bonton roulette.